Hey guys, Trent Tate at Mercedes Guy 205. Today I have a very exclusive vehicle. This is a 2021 GTC. It has a V8 bi turbo engine. It's an absolute monster. Now, this specific vehicle is already sold to one very lucky customer, so it will not be available here. But while I had it before we sent this on a truck out to its forever home, I wanted to take the time to show you, if you were the owner of this vehicle, how I would personally set it up going into your settings. And just some of the highlight features, it's really gonna maximize your ownership experience. So I'm gonna turn this camera around to get you a little bit more information. So right up front, you're gonna notice right out the gate, the vertical slats, the Panamera grill is a style cue, which is only on true AMG products. You'll notice the badging on the side of the V8 bi turbo engine is very special in the GTC. It's handcrafted one man, one engine design. Those engines are assembled head to toe at our world-class facility in the Falterbach, Germany. Um, we have the best engine techs in the entire world. Another very cool operational feature of most of my Mercedes-Benz convertibles, they do have remote top functionality where all you have to do is be on the driver's side of the vehicle. If you want to uh, drop the uh, convertible top, you'll simply press and hold the unlock button on your key on your smart key there and uh, the vehicle will go ahead and start the function of stowing away that soft top now this does also work to uh to put your top up you would just press and hold the lock button instead with your mercedes-benz smart key all you really have to do is uh have it in your pocket or purse simply you're going to walk up to the door when it is in a lock position you're going to put your hand on the inside of that door handle that will unlock the vehicle and you can put your thumb or your finger over this little tab here on either side vehicle door to secure it tons of cool equipment on this vehicle one of my favorite features of these amgs is you can actually control how intense that exhaust note is all you have to do is simply go right here on your center console you're going to see there's a button that you can press between a balanced or a powerful exhaust note and as you can hear here, has an incredible sound. So the display in the Mercedes-Benz is very customizable as well. You'll see this is the left side instrument cluster here. Your right side instrument cl cluster is uh, completely independent of that system, which you'll control the right side with your touchpad here on the right. Um, or, you know, you have your haptic buttons here on your steering wheel as well. Right side haptic will control that right side screen. Left side. We'll control all your instrument cluster here on the left side the display and you can uh, actually go to each side of the dials and uh, pull up different information points different kind of menus one of my favorites that is exclusive to these uh high-end amgs if you hit the home button right here right you can go over here to where it says amg performance run that amg performance uh those dials because <clears throat> they're really going to dial in show you the you know the amount of boost that you're pulling you can make changes in your settings and drive modes has a g-force meter uh that's kind of the setup i like there g-force meter on the left you have your boost control showing you how much horsepower you're pulling how many pounds of torque and everything's digital so everything's very precise now one thing you're going to want to figure out is to manually drop the top or open your rooftop on this GTC, you're gonna notice right here in the center console area is you're gonna be a switch. You're gonna press and hold with your foot on the brake. Your foot needs to be on the brake to operate your roof functionality, but you can pull it down like a tab there if you're wanting to close it. To open it, it'd be the opposite direction. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to figure out is to manually drop the top or open your rooftop on this GTC, you're gonna notice right here in the center console area is you're gonna be a switch. You're gonna press and hold with your foot on the brake. Your foot needs to be on the brake to operate your roof functionality. But you can pull it down like a tab there if you're wanting to close it. To open it, it'd be the opposite direction. Your central display in the middle of the vehicle will hold uh, all your uh, interactive information like for apple carplay android auto if you're not familiar with that service check out some other videos on my channel uh, there's a lot of information out there on those uh, they're not brand new been around a while very refined love my carplay setup you'll be 
plugging up your uh, USB charger to that point right there to where you can display everything on your uh, center stack display there. But uh, to control that display, easiest way to do it is just, you know, you got a home button here. It can always take you to a home menu. You'll, you'll, it'll recognize swipes, button presses, just like, a, uh, like your laptop at home. And uh, the GTC is unique because you do have a lot of other functionalities, like little hot buttons, if you will, to where you can think, change things like your, uh, like your drive mode between like manual and drive, which that does put it a full manual transmission where you'll be responsible to change gears with your paddle shifters there in that mode. The second one down is going to uh, pertain to your suspension controls between comfort, sport, sport plus, uh, sport plus being the most aggressive of the drive modes. This is traction control. I would never recommend really turning that off unless you were on a uh, closed circuit racetrack and you're trying to get some track time in there with no uh, no traction assist. This is the button here. If you can see that, that you'll actually change the exhaust note. You'll see here, powerful, balanced. Uh, definitely you'll feel a t hear a totally different driving experience. This is also an adjustable wing in the back. So to create downforce, you can put that wing in an upright position and that will actually uh, give you a little bit better grip on those corners if you're trying to push your vehicle a little bit. And then you can always disable the auto engine idle off right here with this button with the A circle and slash through it. Climate control settings are all pretty basic stuff. You have automatic functionality. You can set a temperature, set it to auto. It'll keep the cab at your desired uh, preference. The fan strength is there if you would like to adjust manual or adjust the modes manually, or you can hit menu and uh, it'll bring it up on your display to where you can control some different elements of the climate system as well. This is directly above your climate controls here. You're going to see you'll have your controls for the heated seats, ventilated seats. This one has an air scarf system, which is just very smart engineering. You can actually cool the backs of your necks uh, for you and the passenger in the vehicle. This button right here will also go ahead and uh, you know access all of your parking cameras, your front cameras, wide lens, overhead view there with the uh, 360 degree sensors all the way around the vehicle that will alert you if you're getting close to an obstruction. Now right here in the vehicle settings on the vehicle, far right on your home menu, if you go in here, you'll be able to kind of customize and access uh, some different options um, as far as, you know, your dynamic select, you can make your own drive modes. Track pace is absolutely incredible. Uh, when you're buying an AMG at this level, definitely play with some of these dynamics. I think this is where what really sets us apart from anything else on the market. It's updating a database right now, but this is very smart technology. Like if you want to track lap times, um, even a commute to work, you have a certain way you take the work. You can have a start stop point wherever you want. The car will keep up with the data and uh, you'll actually see how you're taking corners, you know, how much brake pressure you're applying, how much throttle going into certain, uh, you know, areas. It'll save it. You can save this information to even a USB flash drive to upload to a computer to get even further telemetry on your vehicle. But uh, lots of options there. Uh, it's hard to fit everything you can do with the track pace system into a short video here uh, on this delivery. But options, you can kind of uh, set up profiles set up an actual app and everything to go with it. And it's a really, really amazing side of uh, how to customize this product. But standard vehicle settings, I mean, things like uh, changing your light settings, for example, you go in here, you can change the instrument cluster lighting, things like locator lighting. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on for my customer here. That actually shines lights down from puddle lamps at your entry exit points of the vehicle just to make it a little safer getting in and out at night. The light switch delay, if you want your lights to have uh, uh, an exterior delay there when you turn your car off, you can adjust uh, interior delay for your interior lights as well. But um, lots of options to play with. And then under vehicle settings, there'll be some additional options that you can adjust. I like to turn on the belt adjust. It kind of snugs you up when you click your seat belt in there to check the optimal retention points. Acoustic lot, that's a preference, you know, that whatever you're comfortable with. If you want the vehicle to let you know when it's secure. I always like to turn on my automatic uh, power folding mirrors there at that access point. Automatic door locks as well. When you hit about 8 to 10 miles per hour, the vehicle will automatically lock itself for you. And easy entry exit. Another one I like, you don't have a lot of room for the seat to back back in these uh, performance vehicles. But if you do have a driver that was driving close to the wheel, 
when you turn the vehicle off, it's going to go ahead and raise that steering wheel up, makes it, uh, makes it a little easier to get in and out. Um, but uh, lots of ways you can fully customize your new Mercedes-Benz AMG. So to execute an emotional start in your GTC, it's really easy to do. If you're looking at the steering wheel, this right shift paddle right here, this paddle shifter, if you actually depress this, hold this down, right? Keep that suppressed, foot on the brake, grab your push to start right here. You're going to get that highly throttled, you know, emotional start. It has a little pop to it. Just a really cool element uh, when you start your car of your new AMG. Looking at your uh, performance steering wheel in the GTC, also, it's a little unique. You know, you're going to notice it's uh, got a flat bottom here that's geared for performance. Our AMG steering wheels also have this little guy, which is a good guider. Like when that's, uh, when that's at a 12 o'clock position, if you're looking at this like a clock, right, 12 o'clock, you're pretty much straight ahead. So if you are at a track or you're really tuning this thing to get the, get to the, the optimal performance and corners and when you're, when you're using your track pace, it's easy to know, hey, I'm at about, you know, 45 degrees. You know, you can kind of start learning your how you're taking corners, make adjustments. We've got your G-force meters up, your boost meters. Uh, and you can track all that data through your AMG Dynamics. You'll notice your dials here at the bottom of the steering wheel of your AMG Performance wheel. Uh, they make it really easy to uh, to change these things. Like, you can put different um, operational features assign these to those buttons to where you know you have a lot of versatility if you want to use your change your exhaust note right from the wheel never taking your hands off you can do that right there i can change my drive modes my wing height uh the different drive mode itself between individual or comfort or this side you can actually change between your different drive modes also with the dial um so it's a very customizable The GTC you purchased is equipped with our high-end Burmester sound system. This is top of the line. Uh, you have a ton of power pushing these speakers, multiple speakers, subwoofers in this vehicle. And uh, from any of the audio sources that, that you're on, I'm on Sirius XM right here. You'll notice you have a little side menu over here. If you actually just scroll over on your pad, you go, you'll bring up your different sub menus. Okay, you can set presets. You can also adjust your uh, equalizer settings for the vehicle. Go down here to where it says sound. You can go in here and kind of adjust. I usually like to kind of turn my treble up to give you optimal high-end quality, maybe get you a little bit more bass here as well. And, uh, you know, you can even change the profile altogether. By going in here to sound profile, you have multiple differing, uh, li you know, listening profiles, pure, easy listening, live, surround to me is the most immersive um but that's just something to play with and you can tweak all that right within your sub menu There you go. That is raw horsepower at its finest. One of the strongest engines in our AMG lineup. And uh, we get these kind of vehicles all the time here at Alabama's premier luxury dealership, Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham. If there's any information I can ever relate to you, if you're considering one of these fine automobiles, don't hesitate to contact me direct at 205-504-2358 or check me out online at themercedesguy.com. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'm always here to answer any questions in the comments. Please leave uh, anything that you'd like for more information on, and I can forward that to you via email, direct message, or just shoot me a text. But I always appreciate you guys watching all my content, and I can make you this personal guarantee. When you make it out to Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham, expect excellence. <laughs>